So please lie down on your back in Shavasana. Start preparing the body, settling down, and relax the body. So be comfortable in the posture of Shavasana. Your legs are apart by foot one half feet. Your arms six to eight to ten inches away from the body. Then the palms upward facing the ceiling. Eyes will remain gently shut. As you are in Shavasana, withdraw your awareness from outside world, outside environment. Forget about all the worries, all the stress of the life. Just being aware of your body. Focus to the body, head down to the toes and toes to the head. You are lying on your back in Shavasana. You are settled in Shavasana. Disconnect from outside world. And this is time that you relax your body. Relaxing your legs. Relax the right leg. Observe it, relax it. Observe the left leg. Observe it, relax it. Both legs are completely relaxed. Abdomen, chest, the entire torso relaxed. The right arm, left arm, both arms are completely relaxed. The face, the head relaxed. The back and the buttocks relaxed. The body relaxed from behind. The body relaxed from the front. The body relaxed from each side. Your awareness of the still and relaxed body. Now, place your right palm on top of the abdomen. The right palm on top of the abdomen. Left remains down on the floor. And focus to your breath now. As you start inhaling, the breath enters inside through the nostril. Via throat, it goes to the lungs. Lungs expands, diaphragm goes down. You can feel the rise in the abdominal region. Fill the lungs completely and you breathe out, the abdomen falls back. This is one round. So five rounds of this breathing called abdominal breath. Inhale slow and deep, fill the lungs completely. Allow the abdomen to rise and you breathe out, the abdomen falls back. Going deeper. Abdomen expands, the breath becomes deeper, the body becomes light, and your mind quietens down, becomes relaxed completely. So, five rounds starting with the abdominal breath. Don't be in hurry to breathe deep. You are inhaling slow, allowing the abdomen to expand and you breathe out abdomen contracts. And this is your fifth round of abdominal breathing. And now your right palm will remain as it is on the abdomen, bring the left palm over the chest. So right palm rests over the abdomen, left palm over the chest. Now the next breathing is thoracic breathing, the Hirdai Shosan. When you start inhaling, let the chest area expand, the thoracic region expand, and you breathe out the same area relaxes. Less movement in the abdominal region, or no movement in the abdominal region. Five rounds of this thoracic breathing. You inhale, the chest expands, and you exhale, the same area contracts. You are practicing Hirdai Shasan. Two rounds over, three more rounds. Three more rounds. Your 
your right palm is on the abdomen, left palm is resting over the chest. As you inhale, the chest area, the thoracic part expands. Take the breath up to the throat also. You can feel little tension in the throat and release throat relaxes and chest relaxes. This breathing is the collarbone breathing, the clavicular breathing. You're inhaling, the chest expands, thoracic part expands. Take it deep up to the throat. A bit of tension you can experience in the throat region. Throat relaxes, chest relaxes. Three more rounds of this combination of thoracic and the clavicular brain. Still, there is less movement in the abdominal region. Now, what you need to do, your palms will remain as it is on the abdomen and the chest. We'll combine all three breathing in one breathing called the yogic breathing. Start inhaling. First, your abdomen expands. Take it to the chest. Chest expands deep up to the throat. A bit of tension in the throat reason. Throat relaxes first when you start breathing out. Then chest relaxes. Then abdomen goes in contracted. This is one complete round of yogic breathing. Have another six rounds, seven rounds of this yogic breath. Inhale, first your abdomen expands. Extend it to the chest, deep up to the throat. A bit of tension in the throat reason. Throat relaxes, chest relaxes, abdomen goes in contracted. Go deeper. When you breathe out, emphasize on breathing out. Next inhalation will be a deeper inhalation. This combination of all three breathing is named yogic breathing. The full capacity of the lungs gets utilized. Your lower lobe, the middle lobe, the upper lobe getting impacted. The breath becomes longer, deeper. The lungs capacity increases. Body gets healed. Body gets energized. Body gets refreshed. Mind becomes quite calm and more relaxed. This is the impact of the yogic breathing. Total seven downs, the practice of yogic breath. Carry on. The body is light, body is relaxed, the mind is quite calm. This is the last round of yogic breathing. 